the needle electromyography folder contains many test settings to perform the needle EMG examination. They are identical in functionality. They differ mainly in the preference of the muscles tested. So the needle EMG CTS contains muscles that would be used for carpal tunnel syndrome. Let's start the needle EMG study. A list of muscles is displayed. The general muscle is at the top. One can select the tested muscles in many different ways. We can use the select knob to highlight the desired muscle. We can use the up and down arrow key to select the desired muscle. We can select the tested side by using the left or the right arrow keys. We can also use the mouse to select the muscle. And in this case, I'm going to test the biceps muscle. I will double click on it. Notice that the speaker has been muted. One of the settings in the software is to mute the audio when we are not recording any signal. So thus, it will not produce any loud, disturbing sounds to the patients when the needle is not inside the tested muscle. We can enable the audio at any time by unmuting it. We can now hear the sound of EMG and mute it. We have a very nice bass line. We can activate the audio and also start data collection by pushing the select knob. Push it and now we have the sound. And we can see the sharp, crisp EMG activity. The volume levels can be adjusted using the two arrow keys. And this control is shown at the top in the toolbar. I'm going to increase the audio or I can reduce the audio level. Most likely, you will find a reasonable audio level for your laboratory that is satisfactory. And when you don't want to listen to the audio, you can mute it. So now you are not listening. Now we are listening to the EMG sound. Our default display gain is 50 microvolts per division and the sweep setting is 10 milliseconds per division. In the right half of the window, the sweep is 100 milliseconds per division. And the gain is 100 microvolts per division. This is useful to assess the insertional and spontaneous activity. We can adjust the gain by using the display keys. The down arrow will make the deflection smaller on the screen. Use the up arrow to make the deflection larger on the screen. We can look at the signals in a raster mode by using the complex one display. This is accessed by using the yellow circle key. We can stop collecting the data at any time by pushing the select knob. Note that it automatically mutes the audio so that you can devote your attention to waveform analysis. The right half of the screen shows the cascades, which are individual sweeps that are saved in the system memory. And we have 200 such cascades. We can raster through them as necessary. To continue with data acquisition, push the select knob. Having observed the motor net potential waveforms, we would like to look at the recruitment or interference pattern at maximum effort. The signals will be higher in amplitude and will require a change in the gain. It also makes it easier to assess the recruitment by using a longer sweep duration. Both 
of these tasks are accomplished quite easily by using the EMG staging capability. This is mapped on the gray square key. Look at the right half of the window. The gain is 1 millivolt per division. Sweep is 200 milliseconds per division. And now we'll go to maximum effort. And we can freeze the signals on the scope. Here is our EMG interference at maximal effort and a portion of that is shown in the bottom trace called the review trace. Having looked at the recruitment, I can change my needle position to assess spontaneous activity and insertional activity at another site. I will use the EMG staging button to reset my settings to the earlier settings we saw. Now we are back at 50 microvolts per division and 10 milliseconds per division. In this way we can very nicely and objectively assess the insertional activity, spontaneous activity, motor unit potentials and the recruitment pattern at maximal effort. The final process is to score these findings. We can invoke the summary toolbar using the blue square key. By default, all EMG findings are reported as normal. And therefore, if the muscle is normal, we really don't need to do anything to this toolbar. If we find abnormalities, they can be scored quite easily by using the mouse. For example, the fibrillations were 2 plus. One can also use the arrow keys on the console. I will use the right arrow keys to select positive sharp waves, down arrow keys to highlight positive sharp waves. Nothing for fasciculations, high frequency discharges, let's say mildly increased amplitude, duration, moderately increased polyphasic potentials, and reduced pattern. To complete this entry, press the Enter key. I'm going to turn off the summary toolbar. We have completed the examination of one muscle. To study another muscle, I will push the new muscle key. Having tested all the desired muscles, we can exit the test by using the gray triangle button. 